Cobra versus Raw Dog. Raw Dog got done in. Raw Dog got Raw Dogged. <laughs> he did. Uh, he could have won that fight. 100% he could have won that fight. Um, but he was more than happy to just pepper the jab, keep Pintoja at range, and, and try and kind of outpoint him when he was getting beat on the mm. scorecards. You know, when he had his moments, he wasn't going for, for a big shot. He wasn't trying to finish him. He was just happy to keep him at the end of his jab. Yeah. You know, not really land anything significant. It looked pretty. Yeah, like... But then he just got taken down and yeah. held for three minutes. Yeah, his boxing <clears throat> looked good when he <clears throat> could keep it on the feet, but that was the thing that he struggled with was keeping it on the feet. And then I feel yeah. like he gave up his his guard too much. He just went. He just sat on his mm. back too easily, um, and like just crawled straight into guard. Like, and it's yeah, it it turned out to be a bit of a boring fight. Yeah, unfortunately, because Un- unpredicted. Pardon? We didn't predict that it would be boring. no, no. And both of these guys were calling for. They were both saying in the press that they were like, yeah, this, that was all they could say was they're like, this is going to be an exciting fight. Yeah, yeah. You guys might not know who we are or whatever, but you, but you will. will. And I, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, not <laughs> to be now. Honest. Like, that's the second time these guys have fought. Pantoja obviously won both times. Roy Val, I just can't see him ever getting to that pinnacle after this. Yeah, he's, he's exciting in other fights, but I mean, Pantoja is usually super exciting as well. He and got tired though, man. He, he did, got guessed. He guessed pretty the early. Third round. Mm. But he was just still able to just any takedown that he went for, he was able to pull off. It was mm. quite fucked. Like, like I, he was knackered and he'd shoot a, a um, real sloppy double leg and he'd still get him down. His timing was pretty good with those. Though. Yeah, yeah. I found that he was set the, them up pretty well. I found that was the, the big. But if you're Roy Vile, surely you can defend some of these takedowns. Like, not like Pentoge is much bigger and stronger than you. You know, I don't know. Maybe he is. But yeah, like you say, just fold over, grab the half guard, just sit there. Yeah. And he couldn't really escape at all. Um, Pantoja was just much, much better at, at keeping top control. And, you know, it's a shame, really. It's a shame. It is a shame. It had the makings uh, to be a bit of a banger. Hmm. But um... another one of those ones, though, I, I guess, like, if you want to beat the champ, bring it to him. Show him something different. Pantoja's more than happy to just control um, yeah. Roy Val and, and other contenders and grind out decisions. As long as he keeps the belt, you know, he'll be happy. Um, Roy Val needed to bring something different to the table, and he, he just didn't. He, he failed at that. Yeah, like that was a shame. Dive. That was your deep dive? Yeah, nice. Deep dive. I enjoyed it. I, um, yeah. it, was, it went deep. Good. But any, any other thoughts on this fight? Who would you like to see these two up against next? Well, I was just going to say, we should bring up the, the flyweight ratings because I don't really yep. know who's booked and what's going on in that division right now. Um, but we had a small discussion about our friend Manel Cape. He does have a fight booked, right? He does at the moment, but he is a, a flyweight that I think I want to be keeping an eye on. Mm. He's fighting that Nikolai guy. Yeah. I think Kai Kara France could could fight uh, Roy Val again. That would yeah. be a decent fight to watch. That was a cool fight. Yeah, Nicolau, Um It's it's tough because you've obviously got uh, Brendan Moreno and Albazi fighting. That's kind of going to clear it up as the number one contender. Okay. But if Moreno wins... When are they fighting? I think they're fighting next year. Okay. <laughs> Brandon Marino. I'm getting educated while everyone else is. That's Brandon Mo. <laughs> yeah, you are. Mm. Brandon Moreno. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Don't you hate it when it doesn't come up with the Google thing? You have to like... I'll just put UFC at the end of it. Oh, really? Ah, that's a good wee hack that you got. Boom. Look at you, mate. Boom. That's very smart. Who's, it still... who's getting educated oh, now? Because it's, 20, it's 20, 24 who's, is not there. Who's... Who's but who's who's getting educated now? Well, apparently not me. I know it was me. Thanks, Chuck. Chuck, I'm called now. Uh, it's in Mexico City. When? Oh, that's cool. Twenty fifth, uh, twenty fourth Feb in Mexico City. It's gonna go down. Main nice. event. Nice. So that's nice. then. When's that cup fight happening? Nice. That's happening fourteenth of Jan. So. 
the winner of either of those two fights has to be, it's got to be one of them who, f who fights for the belt next. And if Cup, if Cup can if get, Cup. if Cup <laughs> can get name? a, no, I'm saying if, if Cup, Cup can get a, an exciting finish, jump on the mic, you know, go yeah. fucking, um, fucking Thornbury. What's it? Donny Thornbury on his ass. Isn't it Nigel? Oh, is it? Nah, Nigel. Yeah, right. Nigel yeah, Thornbury. Yeah. It was uh, actually. It's the kid. Like, yeah. No. Just get on the mic. Kind of reminds me of Make a. Know, yeah. Sometimes. Um, Got a bit of sugar. Make a, a call out for the belt. It could be all he needs. You know, if that number one contenders fight turns out to be a bit of a snooze fest mm. um, and yep. it doesn't get many eyes on it and Carpe can get eyes on him, then I guarantee they'll go with him because yeah, the flyweight division. Like we talked about recently, doesn't have a fire lit underneath it at the moment. There's there's not a lot of eyes going towards it, and mm. for good reason because no one's marketing themselves. Yeah, <clears throat> and you've got the likes of Kai Kara France who who goes up there, gets a setback. A few other guys who are like that too. Mm. You know, like people people seem uh, fighters seem to grow up in that division and then just get knocked back. I I but love Kai Kara France. Don't get me wrong, but he. You love him? No, no, no. I love, I love, I love life. that guy. He's a good. He's, he oh, seems right. like a good dude, and he's a great fighter to watch as well. Mm. But what, hear, hear me out. He he doesn't make enough noise. I don't no. think. And I think people don't like him, generally. Yeah. In the UFC space, I think a lot of people don't like him because they think he's like a little bit cringy. Okay. That's just what I've heard from a few different people. I, I I like him. I always support the the Kiwi lads, but I think people like enjoy Manal Cup a little bit more generally. You know? That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying yeah, he, he's, yeah. he's 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 no, making right. noise. That's exactly what you're saying. Yeah, he's making noise and and speaks. yeah, and he's he's not afraid to kind of say something and make a fool out of himself because it makes noise. He's like one of those alpha male like sits there in his chair like, yeah, yeah, one of them. We like that. That's <clears throat> good chat. They're, they're interesting people, and people are going to pay to try and see him lose as well. Mm -hmm. Um. So I think I think you're you're absolutely right. Oh, of course I am. Yeah, you always are, aren't you? Uh, the other thing is, if Brandon Moreno wins, it's going to be the fourth time he's fought Pantoja. That weighs in big time. <clears throat> so if Moreno fourth wins, time. Yeah, they fought uh, once on the UFC, um, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. <laughs> what am I fucking? The, the Ultimate, Ultimate Fighter. Fighter. Yeah. The Ultimate Fighter. They fought one on once on that. They fought once. In the UFC before the championship, and then they obviously fought for the belt as well. God damn! Um, well, well, you didn't know that, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> but you're painful sometimes. So Moreno has just spent half of his career fighting the same guys. Yeah, he's only fought three people in his, in his career. Um, <laughs> he's had. There it oh, is. Okay, yeah. so he's had twenty. So season twenty-four. Show this for the people. There's Ngannou. Season 24 of the thing, he fought Pantoja. Then we go all the way up here, and then he lost. Fight night, Maya vs. Usman. Decision. And then his last fight, he also lost. So he's lost three times to the Pantoja now. God damn. Crazy. Knowing him, he will, he will win the fourth. Probably, yeah. yeah. And then they'll have to have a fifth. Nah, he'll Izzy it. He'll, oh, he'll make the retire, Izzy call. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I don't keep scores. I settle them. Yeah, and we were in a dog collar going in. I can't count numbers. So I just won a fight. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't count. Um. Okay. So yeah. So that what we, what doesn't saying? get us anywhere with that. We, we want to see about? Roy Val up against Kaikara France for sure, and we want to see the winner of Cup and Thing Nikolaiu or Al Albazi if he wins. Yeah. And then Moreno, maybe. Well, yeah. It's just whoever can make enough noise. Mm. Whoever can bring eyes to the flyweight division should be fighting for the see title them next. Screaming. Ah! And if Dylan can Dennis can make score. flyweight right now, they're booking him for the Chuck championship. Him Chuck him in. That's what I'm saying too. I like that. You hear that, Dylan? There you go. There's your way into the UFC. Come on, Dildo. Get in there. 125. That could be all you. You could make it as well, I think. He's not that big. Um, so we both agree though, Pent uh, Roy Vile should fight Kai Kara France, 100%. <laughs> That's got to be the one. Sorry, there was just a really nice sounding V8 driving up the road. Um, yeah, I, oh, guy. I agree. I agree. 
But I agree. I agree because I wasn't listening, so I'll agree. <laughs> Polycar of France versus Brandon Royval next. Yeah, I already said that. Yeah, and yeah. Pantoja versus one of those three fighters. Oh, so you're just whatever. recycling what I said before anyway. I think yeah. we should... Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this short episode of Combat Corner. If you like what you see, we've got lots of long form content below and lots of other videos like this, so feel free to go along and check it out. We really appreciate all your support. Thanks again for watching. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, share it around. Have a good day. Peace.